think we are live here. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful December 8th. So today's another, uh, so today's day 8th of the Onyx calendar. I've been doing Onyx calendar for since obviously December 1st there. So today is December 8th. And uh, today's coffee is Ethiopia. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. Ethiopia Waka Charbasa. Okay, uh, this is a wash process from Ethiopia. And again, I have no idea what's the tasting notes. I know there's tasting notes out there somewhere on the web, but I'm not gonna look at it. I'm just gonna kind of like figure it out what that tasting note like uh, compared to uh, what, what what Onyx to say is supposedly tastes like. Anyway, so it's gonna be fun. I cannot wait for uh, this morning's uh, program. I'm gonna be comparing K plus versus Commandante, and then we are going to compare that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna be using the identical dripper. Okay. Actually, uh, so this is an April drip. Uh, April dripper. Shout out to Patrick. So I have a. Uh, so this is uh, this is ceramic. And this is the plastic, but obviously same design. Okay, they are a very similar design though. It's not quite 100%, but close to get. So, I because I do want to uh, compare with uh, same dripper. So I got that. And also, Patrick also sent me the paper. So this is the April paper as well. Uh, wave paper. It's different than Kalita wave. Okay, Kalita. 185 that seems thinner as well the seems thinner than uh it's actually smaller as well. So clear 185 this is the uh, uh april paper okay so it's gonna be identical paper as well so pretty much same dripper uh same paper same water and uh, only thing difference is the grinder okay so here's one valuable though in ideal world, okay, I want to get the exact same extraction time, but unfortunately, I'm dealing with the Onyx coffee here. Uh, comes with the 55 gram, so uh, I'm going to be using the 13 grams each. Uh, so I'm going to introduce 13 gram, and there are 200 grams of water. Uh, I've been watching the uh, Patrick's video last couple of days, trying to learn how to use his uh, uh, brewing method so it's going to be two pour uh, 30 grams of uh, actually first 30 gram is circle pour 30 or 35 gram they're circle pour there and they go all the way up to 100 gram with a center pour uh, with it in like 10 seconds okay and after that i'm going to wait about 30 seconds i'm going to do the exact same process uh, circle pour and then uh, center pour up to 200 so total of two pour uh, so 13 gram in, 200, uh, 13 gram in, 200 grams of water. And uh, exact same uh, technique for both. Hopefully, you know, let's find that. Is there any difference in, you know, taste? Okay. And I don't know. I mean, it's all depends on the coffee. I think it's ultimately it's all about the coffee and also uh, the brewing method matters as well. Uh, some brewing method is better than others. So... Uh, so this is a coffee from Ethiopia. Let's see. Hold on. And uh, we got the... Make sure to join the live chat as well. We got the Chris is on live chat. We've got about seven people watching. So just come hang out with us. I'm going to... Uh, let's measure out 13 gram first. Hold on. Okay. You know what? And then what else? Uh, water temperature. Okay, I, uh, I've been watching Patrick's video. He usually set out like 92, okay, 92, 93. So that's what I'm gonna do. So much pretty good. All right, I'm gonna change the views of the angle. I hope you guys can see better here. All right, let's get going. Okay, it's gonna be 13 gram. Okay, plus. Okay, grinder size, the grinder setting. 
with the K plus, so I'm looking at 12 clicks on K plus. 12 clicks on K plus, and then Commandante, uh, it's gonna be 25 clicks on Commandante, okay? 25 clicks on Commandante. Thirteen gram as well. All right, let's compare the speed. Okay, how long it's gonna take? I'm gonna shout out to Chris for the super sticker. Okay, here we go. Let's see, K plus. Okay, about 16 seconds for K plus. Okay, with the Commandante. Okay, I'm still going. About 33, 35. Okay, about 40 seconds. 17 seconds for uh, K plus. About 40 seconds for Commandante. Uh, grind 14, uh, 13 gram, folks. Okay. Okay, let's brew some coffee here. All right. Okay, so first one, again, well, we're gonna do about 93 Celsius on my paper. I'm sorry, the water temperature there. So let's start with a plastic gun. So this is the plastic apron drip. I got 13 gram in, about, you know, about slightly, there, it's pretty close, okay? Close to zero re, uh, retention there. I wonder if I can show you guys better angle for this. Hold on, let me go higher. Okay, there we go. That's better. All right. I'm going to start with about 30, about 30 gram center pole. I'm sorry, the circle pole. And then go up to 100 gram center pole within 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds. I'm gonna do the circle pull first. Same thing. There we go. And then go up to 200. That's it.
uh, comes to brew time should be around minute and 40 seconds okay. right there and we're gonna do you know less agitation as possible <coughs> to bring out the sweetness give you that very balanced coffee still drying draw down minute 40 it'd be kind of like ideal time okay okay well right now we're at 135 140 getting very close folks okay let's see here okay that looks pretty good about i'm gonna call it at two minutes okay let's call it at two yeah let's call it at two minutes so let's work on the so this is ceramic okay so one before was the plastic this is ceramic Let's find out any change in brew time because the ceramic, I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure zero. 13 gram, yep, comes to uh, retention wise. There's no whole lot of retention. Okay, very, very, good with that again so 30 gram circle pour of 200 center pour oh. there we go I'm gonna wait about like 30, 35 seconds. I'm gonna repeat the process. I'm gonna do this uh, cir circle and center. Go up to 200. That's it, very simple, very repeatable. So this is the K plus. This is Commandante. So this is about two minutes on this cup here, about two minutes. I'm gonna write it down here. I got Commandante was two minutes. And with K plus, still drawing down time right now. Oh man, it's gonna be close. Okay, it's gonna be close to Commandante there. Minute and minute and fifty. I'm gonna call it at 155. Okay, let's call it at 155. All right. Okay, folks, let's try. Okay, let's give it a try. We have a two. Uh, I want to say, I love to say identical cup, but close enough okay they are very close enough so i'm gonna start with so this is a co uh, commandante cheers guys i hope you guys are having a wonderful morning uh oh, again i'm gonna shout out to chris for the super sticker uh, you got rapos on from portland omar so omar's drinking what onyx beans 
GP6. Yeah. Oh right, yeah. With that's good. That's good combo. Omar. Cheers. Okay. Let's see here. Samir is very tea-like. Okay. Here we go. Very tea-like. Gosh. Hold on. Definitely tea. What else do I tasting? Sweet. Okay. Kind of a honey finish. All right. Kind of a honey finish there. <clears throat> Let's try this one. So this is the K plus. Uh, comes to brew time, very close. Uh, Commandante was about two minutes. Okay. And K plus was about 155. And so, yeah, it's very, very, uh, very, very close. Okay, K plus is more fragrant. Ooh, hold on a second here. Man. I need to go back to. So, by the way, the so coffee is hot. So, so every uh, stage, you are going to taste different tasting notes. Uh, you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna tell the difference be, uh, in the beginning uh, when coffee is cold. No, I'm sorry, hot, kind of like warm and cold. You are going to taste uh, different cups. So, I'm gonna use my cup here. I mean, just use a smaller cup, get a smaller dose. Okay, looks very weak. Okay, I kind of like weak, kind of like weak tea. I mean, if you ask me, but okay, man, this is completely different experience. If I'm gonna give you to uh, give you this coffee to you right now, you're not gonna say this is coffee. Okay, let's put it that way. They're extremely tea-like. Man, I have to say, I, I don't know about you guys, but K plus has a lot more fragrance. Okay. Yeah. I need to have somebody. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to have somebody join me on this uh, experience because I mean you know you guys you know I mean you see me all the time and talking about it but uh, comes to taste very subjective but same time you know I know what I like and what I don't like yeah very nice finish to it okay uh, so definitely honey uh, tea like Some kind of fruit taste. I don't know what, but some kind of fruit. Uh, so I, I can definitely tell the three distinct tasting notes uh, from K+. And uh, it comes to uh, Commandante. A little bit more brighter, okay, but it's not as smooth as a K plus. So for this uh, round, uh, I prefer the K plus over uh, Commandante for this coffee. Obviously, it's, uh, depend on the coffee. Uh, it's gonna be you know one grinder is little uh, you know little better than a, a other grinder, but with a different brewing method or different again different brewing method, you're gonna see the different results. So what is I mean, man? Uh, if I were you, uh, stick with the one brewer. Okay, I know Rappo asked me April versus Orea. Uh, it's gonna be different, definitely. Uh, it's gonna be different flow rates as well. So, but I mean, once you understand the brewing method, once you master it, 
I mean, it doesn't matter which bro you have, I think you're gonna get a pretty good result. Uh, either of them. Okay. Oh, there. Linda say, peach, jasmine, and white grape for the notes today. Okay. All right. So, peach, jasmine, white grape for the notes. Uh, let's try that again. So far, I got some kind of tea. I got a, a honey. And I have some kind of fruit. Okay. So, peach. Okay. I can see that. I can see the smell. Like peach. Yeah. White grape. Yeah, okay. I can see that. I mean, you know, I mean, that's the thing. Wait, hold on. No, that's what Linda's drinking. Never mind. Okay. So, uh, so this is not uh, Ethiopia. That's what Linda's drinking this morning. All right. Yeah, so this is the Onyx calendar. Okay, you tricked me there, Linda. Because, okay, so far I taste honey. It's definite. Some kind of fruit I cannot recognize. You, the reason why I say fruit is it's sweet, okay? And definitely tea. So, man, again, uh, the K plus is a sneaky good, okay? I know GP6 is, I think, as good as the K plus, uh, what I heard. And uh, Jackie say dragon fruit, maybe. Okay, maybe dragon fruit. So I'm 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 really enjoying the the calendar here. Yeah. Oh, the Chris mentioned uh, I've seen countless reviews about the K series. Big thing is the K series is they perform brilliant. Okay, all types of coffee, from Turkish to espresso. Yeah, you know what? Okay. As you saw earlier, I grind 13 gram K plus took me about what? 13, 14 seconds. Commandante was like 40 seconds. So, so here's the thing. I'm gonna show you the reason why they are a lot faster. So this is the uh, uh, the arm length for the K plus. This is Commandante. <clears throat> So it's much shorter, so it gives you more leverage. Comes with it. And uh, you could buy after, uh, so Commandante sells the longer arms. Guess what, you gotta pay extra for it. So. And but, <clears throat> the one great thing about the Commandante, I mean, whenever you go to like, there are some kind of recipe videos, especially if you go to Onyx uh, websites, uh, Ilika does the, all the, their recipe videos for them and they reference Commandante a lot, okay? They say, you know, 20 clicks or 15 clicks on Commandante and, you know, some clicks on EK43. So, uh, comes to getting uh, some kind of reference point. Obviously, the Commandante is, you know, well known in the world. But K Plus is coming up. But, I have no, I mean, comes to Easy Presso. They make so many different types of grinders at the Easy Press on that. It's unreal. Okay, they're unreal. Yeah. Okay, and the Rappo say, longer arm for the Commandante is supposed to make your coffee sweeter. I don't know about that, Rappo. Yeah, hold on, let me try a little more here. Man, yeah, it smells really nice as well. I mean, if you guys are like uh, kind of like strong coffee, you don't like this coffee, okay? You think this this kind of like kind of like tea, okay? But if you guys are like tea, man, you're gonna love this coffee, okay? So it's kind of like depend on what you guys like. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. That was a lot of fun, okay? A lot of fun comparing again that once again, uh, K plus versus Commandante. I mean there. And they're really good grinder for sure. And especially, I'm gonna match that with. I'm so far, I'm really enjoying the April dripper. I mean, man, they are really fast. I mean, I, because I'm I'm big fan of a uh, fast dripper. Okay, I'm big fan of fast dripper like Oreo. I do enjoy. 
and the April Dripper is also fantastic as well. And I'm really getting into the uh, MK Dripper too from MK Studio. Hold on, let me grab the MK. So this is the MK Dripper, also fantastic. Okay, so this is also a fantastic Dripper. Uh, they went on sale this morning and I think it sold out in about a couple minutes, okay. I mean, this is a beautiful handmade ceramic as well. So uh, this one, again, I mean, this is kind of like premium, fierce to it. I mean, if you love fast dripper, if you want something nice, I mean, April, uh, April uh, dripper, the ceramic, or if not, like MK is, they're really fun to use, okay? It's gonna be, Better than plastic? No, of course not. I mean, they are the pretty much the same design, but it feels good to use it. Okay, it feels definitely good to use it. All right, I, I think I, I'll be back later, okay? I'll be back later uh, this morning. Uh, let's do, let's put a shot on uh, espresso, okay? So far, I use about 26 grams so far. Yeah, so we are good. We are in pretty good shape there, so. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. See you guys in about a couple hours.